14 dog adventures run boy run everything you need is here under the sun everything you need is here under the sun this trip into the mountains of nevada is on the extreme side of upland hunting you covered a lot of miles in rugged rugged terrain traveling light was essential and the 20 gauge that i had definitely fit the bill couple that with some good footwear and it helps keep us in the field be in shape when you come out to Nevada. We're carrying our Webley and Scott shotguns. Derek, tell us about our guns. Well, today we've got a couple models here, uh, two model 920s, uh, all 20 gauges, and we've got a model 3000 as well. The uh, model 920 is our opening price point gun, has a retail, suggested about $1,200, significant value. Uh, five chokes, automatic ejectors, very well balanced gun, uh, all box lock designs. And then uh, the gun that Jerry is carrying today is a Model 3000, and this is a side lock design, seven pin side lock, and has a suggested retail about $6,500. And I'm not carrying that one because we know I'd probably wreck it. Right, we're letting the guy with the best feet pack that one around today. Our hunt in the valley continued. We had some great dog work and some fantastic shooting. Well, boys, that's what you call three before three. That was beautiful. I got the one, you got a mark, the one on the left marked, Derek? And the, uh, yeah, roughly, it's out there a little bit. That was fantastic. Man, the sun just popped up over the ridge. It is a lot warmer, which is nice, because it was really cold. We got two birds down we got to find here. Uh, we had three go up and three go down, so you can't do much better than that. As the sun came up over the rim of the valley, it led to some difficult visibility issues, but the birds were now off the roost and they're out feeding. I cannot tell you how phenomenal it was to see the amount of birds we saw and all the flushes. Bunch more. Look at all those birds, man. That is crazy. Should be right in where Porter just came out of it. Might be deep, might be deeper. There it is. Attaboy. Awesome. So, Derek, we got these birds out here. You told me what to listen for. What do they sound like? Well, they kind of sound like, you imagine they're saying Chicago, and I'll whistle it. They sort of go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And uh, that was just a lot of Chicago going up because there's a bunch of birds. Yeah. We got three down, so we got to find them. The whole valley valley floor came alive. We probably, probably pushed 50, 60, 70 birds out of there, yeah. just down 100 yards from where we're at, get these birds off the ground and go down and do it again. He's got mine. Come here. Come here, bud. Come here, buddy. <laughs> that is a pretty little bird. Look at the top nine on him. And that was, for me, that shot is my toughest shot going to my right. I practice it a lot, and I guess I'm getting a little bit better at it, but if I miss, Probably 70% of the time it's going to the right, so that's uh, you get into your shooting and working on what you're good and bad at. And I'm proud of that little bird right there. Need a little top knot. Very cool hunt. Stay tuned for more high flying adventures after this. If you'd like this video, check out our channel and subscribe to youtube.com forward slash sporting dog adventures TV.